Well, it's wonderful to be here, and Gary, I wish Tanya was here, but uh, like Don, I'll find a way to get to her and express uh, our deepest appreciation for the time and energy uh, that she put into this job as well. Frankly, as you know, as we all know, uh, those of our families are indelibly, they're part of this organization. I remember many events, social events, office functions, baseball games. She was a key part of that. Uh, and that's what, makes, that's what makes the NSA special. That's what I just love about this place. And it takes people like Tanya really to make that happen. So Don, that was exactly right uh, to bring Tanya up. Uh, you know, sometimes you hear me say, uh, you know, boy, we were blessed to have this happen or blessed to have that happen. And I think we were blessed to have General Herensack, Gary Herensack in our organization. He came just at the right time. You ever notice how that happens? Things happen, you know, perfectly. No matter, you know, how difficult it may be, things happen perfectly. I remember the first time I even not met General Harris. I do remember that. Uh, we won't go into that right here. <laughs> but uh, first time I heard about General Harris, Jonathan George, General Jonathan George uh, told me about him. And I guess you were uh, neighbors in Omaha or a variety of different places, most likely. And he, uh, he said, there's this one thing uh, about General Harrensack. You know, he's a general, you know, dude does general type stuff and, you know, knows how to make decisions and lead and all that. But he's, he's funny. And I said, well, yeah, I'm sure he has a sense of humor. And he says, no, no, he's funny. <laughs> he's he, Jay Leno funny <laughs> and uh, did not disappoint. Uh, we recently had the honor of having uh, one of my last assignments to Gary was to have him MC the Tom Hunters. We had a little event for Tom Hunter. I don't know when it was, about three or four weeks ago. Is that right? And uh, it, was, it was quite hilarious, uh, needless to say. As you know, uh, only he can be. And we will miss that. Uh, but sometimes the nice thing about departure is you know somebody new will come in obviously we have a, a great relief coming in behind you and everybody brings their own little piece of their character into the job i think that will happen but we were blessed to have general Herensack in our organization from march of 09 till just now or I, is the, when is the last day i guess gary I mean, is it today Two hours. all right <laughs> all right got time for one more tasker i guess <laughs> Well, what does blessing mean? You know, I mean, this is a uh, term you hear, you know, um, you can say, well, it's a religious thing or what have you, but uh, it really means to be lifted up. You know, was, this organization was lifted up with General, when General Herensack came in here. We were in a, we were in a tough spot. We had uh, uh, tail, we just finished the Bush administration. Uh, we lost General Smolin. Um, I was losing General George. I had got, gotten a call from uh, General Newton over in the Pentagon saying, we need uh, General George in the White House right away. Uh, Mr. Ostendorf uh, was finishing up his last month in the NNSA, and uh, we had to keep this organization going for, not for ourselves, but for the country. And so I talked to General Newton quite a bit and uh, a lot of discussion uh, about General Harrensack. And, you know, things worked out very well. We were blessed as a result of that. And blessing means to be lifted up. He lifted up this organization in the only way an individual like that he can do. He, he lifted it up. He provided clear direction. He provided the energy and enthusiasm and clarity of what we're here for. And that's what leadership's all about, frankly. You know that and you see it when you take a look at Gary Herensack. Uh, Gary Smalley is an author of a book called The Blessing. And in that book, he kind of describes four key attributes. What is a blessing, you know? It's the spoken word, you know, expressing high value. That's the second one. Picturing a special future and requiring an act of commitment. Now, we can go through each one of these with respect to General Herensack. The spoken word, well, that goes without saying you know, never misses an opportunity. And we're glad that he doesn't to tell us what's on his mind. But he's doing it with a lot of energy and with a lot of value and with clarity of direction, establishing that, that special picture of where we need to go. That's a leader. And that's what we had with General Herensack. So uh, 
When you pull all that together, it's very clear that he's blessed this organization. The NNSA business and operating procedure, there's a 64.001, describes, you know, the administrator's awards and, and, and you know, who's, what the criteria are for the administrator's awards. And the key phrase for the Distinguished Gold Award is consistent, outstanding leadership. And there can be no argument that despite the I think relatively short period of time, about two years, made it seem really long to you, sir. <laughs> Apologize for that. <laughs> but that he has demonstrated consistent, outstanding leadership. And look what's ac been accomplished in defense programs in two years. It's just incredible. You know, we've got a revived military element here that actively participates in managing this program and representing the NSA in the Defense Department. How did that happen? General Herring said. We have a nuclear posture review that's been established, clearly laying out in a nonpartisan way, in a way that many people in Washington can say, yeah, we can live with this probably for 10 years. Well, how did that happen? The leadership of General Herring said. We have obviously clarity in our program for the NNSA, I'd say, for the next 10 years. I mean, there's a lot of details that are going to be worked out as we move forward. But the key to a future is laying that foundation well. And I think we've had that foundation very well laid by General Heron Sack. You can't get that future without the funding and resources to make all of that happen. How did that happen? The leadership General Heron Sack provided in defense programs. You can go on and on and on. You know all the elements of the program. You're in the program. But this is really an opportunity for all of us uh, to thank him and for me in particular to be able to present you, sir, uh, with the gold award. So if you come up, I'd like, I'd like to do that. To all see these presents, greetings. This is a certify that Brigadier General Garrett Herensack has been awarded the NNSA Gold Medal in recognition of your superior leadership as the Principal Assistant Deputy Administrator for Military Application. You have consistently exhibited the highest standards of excellence and professionalism. Your initiative, innovation, and commitment have contributed directly to the advancement of national security interests of the United States. Given under my hand in the City of Washington, D.C., January 2011, Thomas D'Agostino Administrator. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please uh, welcome General Heron Sack to give his final remarks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I am, uh, I, I am very humbled uh, to be here, uh, and, 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 and thank you so much. Uh, you know, uh, uh, my wife couldn't be here. Uh, she wanted to, of course, but uh, she's at home uh, uh, with, the, with the movers. Uh, you know, one time I was, uh, I'd received some recognition for something, and I talked about uh, you know how it was everybody else's uh, thing and somebody came up to my wife and said uh, boy your husband's humble she said yeah he's got a lot to be humble about and um, <laughs> and you know she's right I do I do uh, you know I was uh, when I made uh, uh, general officer the general who was uh, pinning me on uh, was talking about uh, went up to her and said uh, wow uh, uh, that's pretty exciting she says yeah she goes, you're surprised he made general? She goes, no, I'm surprised he made captain. And, <laughs> and you know what? I am too. I am too. Uh, but, but, but what I've, uh, you, know, you know, first off, let, let me tell you, I, I, you, you know, you've heard the stories uh, because you've heard all of my stories, haven't you? <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody. John, thank you for putting this together. Thanks for uh, 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 everybody for coming today. Um, I, I, I want to thank um, Tom and Don and Bob for, for, for your leadership. Uh, you know, I, I, I've spent my entire adult life in America's Air Force. 
Um, I never had a real job, uh, unless you count when I was 15 and I worked at ShopRite. You know, I had to wear the little uh, red vest with a little bow tie, and the manager would always go, Gary, aisle four, bring him up. And, you know, I, I mean, that was the only job, real job, I had, uh, other than uh, being in America's Air Force. But uh, I, I have had the opportunity to work uh, with incredible leaders, absolutely incredible leaders, uh, um, throughout my 30-plus years uh, in, in the Air Force. Uh, but, but, but i got to tell you, uh, uh, the, the leadership at NNSA today uh, is, is, is the best I have seen. Uh, in, in my years. I, I mean, we, we've got caring, compassionate, servant leaders here at NSA. Uh, and, and it has been my, my distinct honor and pleasure to, to have served with each and every one of you. Uh, you, you know, when we talk, uh, I, I didn't know NSA existed. You've heard the story and all this other stuff. And, and uh, of course, I again apologize to Mary and Brendan, to John. I, I mean, uh, Gary, all, all these people, you know, they come into my office, ask a simple question. Uh, you're going to that meeting, uh, and they have to listen to a story about something, right? <laughs> so they finally, after today, get their lives back, okay? Uh, but, uh, but, but I know I've told them the story that, uh, you know, I'm sitting at uh, Whiteman Air Force Base. I knew my time was up there. Didn't know where I was going, what I was doing. And uh, General, Senior General Air Force calls, and he goes, hey, Zach, it's time for you to move on. He goes, uh, you're, 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 you're going to the NSA. And I go, well, thank you, sir. Appreciate the opportunity to serve, blah, 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 all that stuff, right? <laughs> Hang up the phone, and my exec is standing there, and he goes, well, boss, where are you going? I said, I don't have a clue. Uh, <laughs> He said, well, what he said? He said, he said, NNSA. And he goes, you're going to Fort Meade. I go, oh, Fort Meade? What the hell am I? What? Why? No, no. He said two N's. Uh, I'm not kidding. And, and so we sat there and, uh, uh, you know, we, we Googled it. And you guys came up. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, uh, when I think about it, and, and Mr. Diagostino was uh, talked about a blessing, uh, you, you know, I mean, that's that's isn't then what way life is. Uh, never knew it existed, uh, and and it's been an incredible blessing for me to have served with each and every one of you. Uh, this has been an outstanding assignment. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've been, you know, traveling around and I see my buds out there, and they go, "Hey, you're not on the uh, Air Force Global anymore. We thought you died." You know, I, and I. <laughs> Because, you know, you're not on the, and, and what are you doing? And I said, oh, I work for NNSA. And, and they go, huh? And, <laughs> and I go, no, I mean, this is such a cool job. And, and, and it really is. Uh, uh, of course, you know, the, what we do is cool. I mean, that's, it, it's fun. But, but, of course, what really makes it great is each and every one of you. Uh, and, and I, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's wonderful to get these awards. I, I uh, uh, sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. Uh, but, but, you know, a famous uh, Bear Bryant, a famous football coach, uh, uh, said that once that uh, when, we do, when we do well, it's because of you. When we do very well, it's because of the team. And when we do poorly, it's because of me. Uh, and, 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 you know, I, I, I truly believe that, uh, that uh, it's, it's because of the team. Uh, I am, I have been a cheerleader. Um, you know, the, the, the fact that I'd have a bunch of physicists working for me is weird. Since, <laughs> since I had a 2.0 at the Air Force Academy, <laughs> rounded up. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, you know, so, so it's not the technical aspects of it. You know, where's Joe Oder? Joe Oder, jo Joe Oder gave just five minutes, five minutes before this, he gave me his last briefing. Um, and, um, you know, what would you say at the end of it? You said, did you understand anything I just said? <laughs> 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 Thank you. I knew it was something like that. Uh, and, and, but, but, but again, that's not my role because we have here the world's greatest physicists working for us. We have the world. What, what, what my role is uh, what was, was to hopefully, hopefully uh, be, you know, not to bring Bette Midler into it, but be the wind beneath their sails, okay? Uh, wings or whatever the heck it is. You know, uh, the, the, point, the point is, 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 is my role was, was to make sure you do continue to uh, ha have the resources uh, and the opportunity to do the great things you do each and every day. Uh, and, and, I, and I've gone around to all of our sites and I've told them, and I, you know, I call it rubbing, tu rubbing tummies, because that's what it's about. It's about uh, making sure you understand how important you are 
to the defense of this great nation. You know, it's not about me. It's really not about you. It's about what we are doing as an organization to defend this great nation. And you do it in a different role than I'm used to. You know, you're, you're not the young 19-year-old airman trying to fix that engine so it could launch out of Bagram Air Force Base in, in Afghanistan. You're not that 19-year-old sailor trying to get the valve to close so the sub could, could, could uh, um, do whatever subs do. <laughs> I, don't know. I tried to learn nautical stuff, but I, it didn't stick. I'm sorry. It didn't stick, sir. But you're not, you're, you're, you're not out there on patrol like the Marines or the, uh, you know, the uh, America's Army out there doing all, all the wonderful things you're, you're, that, that they're doing. Volunteers all, okay, they're, they, they are, they're on the front lines uh, defending this great nation and, and risking their future, sometimes losing their future to protect the future of our children and your children and our way of life. Uh, and, and, and that's important, and I, and I know you all honor them and we all honor them, but, but, but my role is to, uh, to honor you for, for your contribution. Uh, and, and you are making the same commitment uh, each and every day. And it's hard for you to realize that sometimes, I know, because uh, you get on that stinky bus in the morning, uh, you, you, you go with all the unwashed masses on the metro, uh, right? <laughs> Uh, you, you drive in and you come here and, and, and you've got a lot of frustrations. You've got a, 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 lot, uh, a, a lot of uh, things going on in your lives. Um, you know, maybe, maybe your, uh, your office mate is annoying. I don't know. You know, you, you've got a lot of things. You're, 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 you're working every day. And it's hard sometimes for you to realize the valuable, the valuable role you're playing to defend America and, of course, making sure our nuclear deterrent uh, and, and protecting America against its gravest threat. You know, I've, I've gone around to our whole enterprise and I told, trust me, I, I've, 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 come from, uh, I, I've come from the field, okay? We will, we will, we will conventionally kick anybody's ass out there, okay? It will happen. Uh, we have the greatest military out there. Uh, the, the fights will be long, they, they may be bloody, they may be, but, but, we, but, but our, our victory is always assured. Uh, what, what we do here, though, in NSA is defend against that one thing that is almost, almost undefendable, and that, and that is uh, uh, the, the severest threat to our nation, and, and, and that's the nuclear threat. And each and every day, you come to work, and you probably, probably don't think about it in that way. You don't say, oh, good, I'm going to save America today, okay? I know you don't, whether you're a contractor, whether, whether you're a Fed, it, 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 it doesn't matter. You have made a choice that you, you are going to defend America. Uh, and, and, and because of that, because of that, it's been my great honor to have served with you, served with you during these past 23 months or so. Uh, and I will never forget that. Uh, I, I, I certainly appreciate what, what, what you do. I would like to you know, hug everybody's neck before I leave and thank you personally. That, that, that's, not gonna, that's not gonna happen, I realize that. Uh, but, but you need to know, you need to know uh, that you are making a difference. And many of you, most of you, all of you, could probably be working somewhere else and making more money with less hours. But no, you choose, you choose to come here and defend an idea that this nation, this nation, needs to survive and to prosper, and we will. We will, you know, I, I was coming in on NPR uh, a few days ago, I was driving in and uh, they're talking, they had some clown on the radio and he's talking about, oh, the decline of America, decline. You know, we've been hearing that for how, how long have we heard about the decline of America, right? In the 70s, it was, oh gosh, you know, all of our Malays, you know, the Soviets are gonna overcome us. Yeah, they're in the dustbin of history, aren't they? Uh, you got, uh, you know, then in the 80s, Japan was buying up everything it was gonna do it. You know, wow, now it's China, who knows, you know, 10 years from now, it'll be space monkeys from the planet Zircon, right? <laughs> I mean, always talking about the decline of America. But it's not gonna happen. You know why? Because, because every day of my career, I've, I've looked into 19-year-old volunteers who, who, who are going to make sure that doesn't happen. And every day for 23 months here, I worked and looked in your eyes, and you said, well, that's not going to happen on my watch. And because of that, because of that, uh, it has been my incredible honor to have served with you. Now, if I, if I could take one moment from you, 
Uh, you know, many decades ago, before I deployed for my first deployment, uh, we had this um, old, loud, obnoxious, hard-drinking, foul-mouthed guy who I've become. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and he, uh, he gave us a, uh, a pledge, if you would, or a prayer. I, it, it was from Andrew Jackson back in uh, uh, 1839, actually, uh, and to send us on our way. And, and if you would indulge me a moment, I've carried it ever since then for now many, many decades. I've, I've carried it in my, um, uh, I've carried it in my wallet, and, and I've, I've read this guardian's blessing, as he called it, uh, to countless, countless airmen as they, as they went on to do their, uh, their work. And it was in March 4th, 1837, President Andrew Jackson uh, was actually, uh, he, he gave this uh, blessing to a, um, a detachment of the United States Army uh, uh, boarding Navy ships with Marines and civilians and what we would consider contractors uh, today uh, to, to go take care of a problem that some uh, uh, a European power was uh, uh, provoking somewhere uh, uh, in our nation, and, and he was dispatching them in the, uh, to, to go take care of that. Um, and, and I think it's apt for me, uh, as, as uh, I, I, I close my remarks here, uh, uh, to give you that guardian's blessing, too, because you are doing the same thing uh, those, those great Americans did uh, centuries ago. And it says, it's guardian's blessing, President Andrew Jackson, March 4th, 1837. You have the highest of human trusts committed to your care. Providence has showered on this favored land, blessing without number, and has chosen you as the guardians of freedom to preserve it for the benefit of the whole human race. May he who holds in his hands the destinies of nations make you worthy of the favors he has bestowed and enable you with pure hands, with pure hearts and strong hands and sleepless vigilance to guard and defend to the end of time this great charge and this great nation which he has committed to your keeping. You are doing that each and every day, and it's been my honor to spend two years doing it with you. And I wish you all the best and Godspeed, and thank you so much for coming today.